imposant et le fardeau. Pour l'un, le fardeau de rester au sommet. Pour l'autre, le fardeau d'atteindre le sommet. Jenji was pushed to the limit. 증명하세요. <목소리> 무거운 왕관의 무게 함께 짊어지겠습니다. 저희가 새로운 세대입니다. 키워는 과거, 현재, 그리고 미래입니다. Flashes, but the bone still abides him. The shutdown for Goomer and T1. They want to 
go to London. And Gen G trying to get the fight, but the Death Stormers are too long. Oh, it's only Canyon versus the world here as T1 are taking down their first inhibitor of the game. They are not done yet. Nexus turrets stand between them and another final. He goes gold and he's holding onto the wave. He wants to take it down. He does. But another one is Conga lining in. Lahens, he knows he just has to move it he's away stalling. from these Nexus turrets. And he is Take able to back, stall it out. Back. Another teleport. Baker does come back. And they'll now get their time. It is Goomer that's able to melt these turrets. There's no time for redemption. Those flags you wave. When it becomes lightning, fighting in the choke, though difficult against Guma, who does so much work. Easy kill pick up TS, pot napping! T1 obliterate them in the blink of an eye. Is that really how it ends? Just like that? They, there's no Jackie, there's no Cream, they can't go in these waves! T1 continue to march forward undeterred, unstopped. TN barely escaping, but T1 aren't done. They don't even have a wave, they might not even care. Zayas goes in for the crunch. The flank. They don't have perfect information. Carry now trying to make his way out. This charm crucially coming through, hitting four members. T1 is taking so much time, and Oda goes in, Oda finds Jackie. Alti going in, Cream still stepping it's up. Strong. 3 6 9, taken out. Carry on the side, slowly but surely. T1 are taking the fight. Mega looks to make the difference. The Goomba goes up in the air, comes right back down, dragging the hopes of TES alongside them. As again, T1 what? finds the fight. Faker on a rampage. Faker doing it all in the moments where it matters. Getting in just enough to bait them. Beautiful cosmic binding. Fall of the equalizer stolen away. Owner immediately going to follow. TES peeling back, but they're running out of space to maneuver with. Now the turn back. The bullet time. An equalizer of their own. Alti coming in. Jackie Love about to fall. Carrier going over the wall. It's a little bit over eager. TES still standing. Jackie Love still standing. Double oh! But Baker and the clutch. The arm guard. He goes gold, but he buys a moment. TN perfect timing, but it does not matter because here comes Goomba, baby. Double coming through. T1 take over. Some only slowed. The Caps is the one they dive into. And immediately assassinate him. Caps is swimming with the fishes. And Hunt Summer is going to join him. T1 immediately pounce. And G2 don't know what. Faker will be the one on the back. But Zayas immediately locked up. You can see how much damage he can tank. Faker going in with the charm. It goes wide. Zayas almost falls to the whirling death. He's alive. And he still has the locket. Faker dodges away from the hook. Zayas going back in. And there's your contribution. Mickey falls. The shot wave from Caps. All it can do is buy him a second to wait. The flash charm from Faker. It's all done. It's all over. But the Nexus falling. T1 are going to go 1-0 oh, up. Uh. He does do have the TP. He will use it. 5k getting lower. Off on the side is the Poppy. On. Alti, 15 second cooldown. Looking to lock up Elk. Where's the ball? Going to go. Carry trying to just wait. Guma knocked back to the wall. The flash four. Going to try to finish on the first eight to carry. And now he's on the hunt for night. Guma! Popping off in the clutch. Moment, but Bin ready to turn it right back. That's the ultimate. Counter-Strike is there. But it's Bin versus all of T1, baby. And that is not enough. Pop Blossom Flash. Flash away. Glacial Prison still connects. And Zayas can put down the equalizer. Carry a flash. Hostile takeover hits onto two. She turns one of them. And goodbye, Pain. Equalizer. Owner secures the smite. Hostile takeover. Owner hits onto Wiser, but he pops the Ragnarok. Cheetan was clipped by it as well. Should be able to escape to the safety of this tower, but Karaoke does not have that same luxury. Kuri misses the Spirit Blossom up towards the top side as Baker dashes back to his soul. And underneath the bot tower, Cheetan is caught out by T1. to find that flank. Baker looking to oh! keep things off. Double knockup. It's still he's answered the midst of everything. And down goes Jackie Love. The one fed member gone in the blink of an eye. Tien got, does not have enough left in the tank to finish that one. Double kill for Zayas. T1, incredible fight. On to the one. Oh! The ultimate catches.
three, but immediately he goes, goes back. back. Perfect, he followed. And that might be the end of him. As KT are in a lot of trouble, in goes owner. Looking for a bit more. Barrel is caught out. Down will go BDD. T1, they find the angle in the fight, and Def gets roped into it as well. And Piosik, the only one to get out here. Hey, Viper in a kind of an awkward spot, but he's able to flap away, and he gets some peeling. And now Zeus is really just uh, in a rough spot here as well. Zeka does have his GA, but down goes Zeus. And how will IV Sports they find the fight? They're looking for more. Trying to find Guma, trying to find Faker and carry up the two carries here on the set at T1. They go in on the carry. Look at the damage from Faker. It is huge. And there's a couple of kills already for the Tristana. Faker just standing and firing and oh, taking no. everyone out. He gets a triple. He oh. gets no, it's the kill of the Saints. But it is a massive fight to the side of T1. And they overstep and Faker picks up a quad. Well, Moham. Oh, can he see the angle? The flash out from Gumiyushi, just too good. Aiming now, trying to frontline. Actually kind of almost finds an angle, but he doesn't. That's going to be the Empress Divide used in celebration. As Zayas had already just killed everyone. Double kill for Faker as well. As they manage to get the Deadly Flourish, that's going to finish off the ace. And I think T1 might be starting their journey again. Ushik, they do manage to avoid the Chains of Corruption largely, but in goes Ona, he goes golden. Can they find the sleeps? They're looking for the flash out from BDD, but he's still going to get taken down. And this is like what you were talking about, Orcs. Unfortunately, sometimes the little dragon just goes pop. And T1, they are just crushing KT with their wallets now. It's a little bit anticlimactic. But that is the way T1 are going to do it as they look to try and bring us to the next game with match point in hand. Shot Warmox uh, now it's going to find Clear. Mikhail's comes down, but Clear is just dead. And uh, eventually, here comes the Seal Fate as well, or the Zephyr Fate. Going to catch Raptor, and everybody's just being hit in the face by some gigantic wallets on the side of T1. It is a clean ace. Thing is, there's the hook. It's going to connect on Zayas. But that is the kill on to handle. Zayas down so incredibly low. The Meganar comes in. Faker gonna get walloped off to the side. Bulldog has to flash to get himself out of the way. And there is the Mountain Soul. Empress Divide doesn't do a whole lot, but that's because his targets are already dead. Leaper gets over the wall, and Gumiyushi will wipe him out. That's another question. Uh, that was a nice slow, actually, make a rain on three people. Guma is very much out of position, but so is Youngjae. He's just going to be taken down, and Guma just blasts away. Meanwhile, the rest of Bro is just on the run, as in comes Carry gets an engage on a two, but the Braum is doing a good job on the disengage. Not going to help out Envy here, as he goes down to Faker's max range ultimate. Going to land it this time. Do a flip, and Owner is going to steal it away, but now Faker! Oh, he's going to get away oh. with the Nar into the wall. Down he goes, as CK finally close the gap, but now very low health bars here on the side of DK. In goes Zeus, and he just murders Showmaker. Down he will go, and Zeus is totally fine. They get in that back line. The buy is able to lock down Amy, but he gets the reset. But look at the health bars and the chase potential of T1. They shut it down in a big way. Deep plus, not able to disengage. The general value is massive. And Goomas, look at the fourth shot. He gets it in the bag. Dragon secured. Ideally, Teddy. Zeus is just going to press his buttons. He's just flashing on them, and they're all dead. It's another execute to come in. And yeah, that was an auto as well onto the Sinjao. Other stuff is happening, but I'm just watching the Draven one shot people. As, yeah. Oh, are we going to get a CD? The hero is the question. The answer is no. Zeus just said, get out of here. The Baron's going to be secured. Daisy's going to be taken down first. Pyoshik is destroyed. And T1 just snowball the fight so beautifully. Yes, Perfect is able to kill a Lux. But uh, I think Carrier did his job. Dude. Delight. Very nice angle. He's going to look for Faker, but he totally whiffs. That's not going to be the angle you're looking for. As now Viper going to throw that in once again. The Keeper's Verdict does get a couple, but not the two he was looking for. TP's coming in. As the Elder is getting so, so low. Might come down to the flip. Hino wants to fight him, but T1 not going to let them come in. But Odor gets so low. And Zayas is frontlining, and they get the Elder. T1 should take this down. They absolutely wipe them, and they will take down the Hino's Elder. Hino's going to be big. Oh, the flash on in. They want to isolate. Zayu says the Steric Shield is massive, though. And now a huge Naralt is going to win this one for T1. You would imagine Morgan being chased down. And he will eventually go down as well. Samber still firing shots. Owner trying to block here. Faker still going to eat a bunch of damage. A lot of poke did go down onto T1. Even the sampling, you talked about this actually in the draft. 
as well. That's not going to hit Young Jay, but Samber looks like he will be isolated and killed. So. I don't know if they can get to the pit in time. Oh, no, can you get there? No! No, they're just not going to get there on time. It's just a Hextech Soul, just like that. And they want to take the fight after Matthias. He goes in, and you know what? He's trying to get on top of a Sonya's BDD, who is going to live for now. He goes in, he gets the sweep on the two. As he gets pretty low, they take him down, but Pilsic's still alive. No resets. But no reset. Dinguba now is shelling them down. How did he one win this fight? How is this happening? That's perfect now, all alone. He's going to be taken down at T1. Helping out T1. And I know they're going to look for the trade, actually. In comes Bulldog. The turn is not that great. And the damage is huge from the side of T1. The Impale comes in. And Leaper just trying to get away, barely going to survive. And it's another T1 fight. Here comes Owner, looking to take down the Kaisa. And I think eventually you got to get it. The Flash Missile. Forward. That's a culling, and more poke is coming out. They're trying to get this poke in, but now the engage comes out from T1. They pull the trigger, and Zeus is able to frontline Gooba and Karia. They stay alive in the 2v2 as well as aiming goes down. It is a clean Never aim. mind, the T1, they move back towards the Baron. It's secured by Ona. The double knockup comes in from the call of the Forge God, and now they throw the kitchen sink at them. Call me to be taken down so low as Zeus gets into the fight in the nick of time, and Karia somehow survives as well. Faker is able to take down yet another one, and he's able to kite them out as well. And Jiwoo. Yeah, Gumiyoshi out of vision. Carrier is going to walk over that control. What is this dragon? He's going down low. The ulti is going to go wide there from Ona, though. As you can see, 369 looking to keep Carrier out. There's the Infernal Soul, though, and the Equalizer is phenomenal. The grand entrance from Carrier once again as Faker is going to flash on top of TM. The all out comes through from 369, but he's just dead because now there's a Zyre in the fight. It's a clean ace, and T1 are looking to take their last Nexus. Fuck again. Better type vibes as the equalizer does go down and Jackie Love, he wants arcade shift over. He needs to, but he's still dead. Faker is gonna put his sword into him. And T1, they're still pushing as well. If they can get behind the tree line, um, so to speak, that's Tien's gonna put up. This could be big, and there it is! Tien already taking so much damage, the redemption comes down, but it doesn't let Jackie Love! He dies in the blink of an eye! They traded for the rumble though, 369 still trying to get out of there as Gumiyushi trying to chase through, and Faker is able to clear up the rest of them. They didn't even need the Zaya in the fight as it turns out, as Cream is gonna die. Gumiyushi comes in, some casual auto attacks, and who cares about Dragon when you can kill a purple one? They need to get themselves together as the Weaver well comes on down. There's a huge pushback from Zayas, who's in amongst four people right now. Gumiyushi, the only one there to back him up. And they want to take him down, but they're not going to be able to do so. Season Assist comes in on top of Court JJ. And then it's Ona that's out once again. APA torn apart at T1. That was absolutely gorgeous. The flash forward from Faker. So quickly, BLG have to be quick. Yeah, all of them do. Stranglethorns in hand here for Ona as well, as they manage to hold them all down. There's the Infernal Soul, and the curtains are being called now as well. There's the Tempered Fate. It does get the stun on tonight, as Valkyrie's now going to be utilized. Magical Journey comes on through, as there's the Gnar. Zayas very delayed once again, but it's a bloodbath, and it's being delivered by T1. Not, been trying to get what he can done, but the Buster Shot's too good. Is this going to be a pentakill for the Goat? No, it's not, because Gumiuchi, he wants wants his piece of the pie, as the Raptors don't get angry at Elk, but he is still running the wrong direction. And I think this hunting party from T1 will be able to take down their prize. No real threat on the back line as Caps is hooked. Half the time to jump away, Redemption is, season to sit. Caps is caught, and Caps is down! T1 find the first in the fight, and now it's all on Hunt Summer to do whatever damage he can. Yuck's gonna go down as well, and we said it would be explosive! Well, who else but T1 in this moment to put you in the dirt? Your dreams will die in the face of T1! Is it gonna go? Is all gonna try and split this fight up? There's a seismic shot, Knight! He has to use the package, he tries to use it defensively, but it's cut off! Armstrong, he dives into the pit. The Drake is secured here for BLG, but T1 are just rolling over the top. Bandy Gakasante is way out of that one, and it is an ace almost. And as on is the only one that survives. Gumiushi has the edge of night. Chain of Corruption already used. Weaver's wall in by Caps. Guma flashes. Yike with the knock up seismic shot. Fates call out. TP in now by T1 as they look to take the fight. Zayas locked up for a moment, and Yike is deleted. Owner found the flag, but now he'll fall. Zayas on the back line onto Hans Summer. Flash away. Mickey's trying to body block, but Zayas goes all out. Just this once.
Baker dives into the back line. Caps next up for Zayas. And Baker's on a rampage. Caps just can't get through Zayas. He is not bad enough. And the flash away from Caps buys him a second. But that's all it's going to be. You can't buy class. And Baker's here to fight. Making a scene here. To be behind. And Summer has two items. Yike goes in. They look for owner first. Crescent Guard popped by Flash. Hit. Broken Blade might go for Goomer. Can knock him into the wall. Carrier, though, is going to spot him. Set first person going down as the Sunday is used. Flash from Mickey with a hostile takeover, but it only lands onto the Azir. Yike trying to do what he can in the middle of the fight. The is already down to half HP, but Yike and Mickey and G2 have to retreat because gold from Carrier. The Shockwave only lands on one. It's owner, not the target that G2 wanted. And Baker has had enough. He slides G2. Into the waiting moors of his team as T2 G T1 look to take us to match point. Fight. Manages to get onto Guma Yushi, who has the clans, who has the flash, and has the chain of corruption, but it's blocked by the wind wall. G2 investing the TP here as Mickey falls to a piercing arrow and Kameya finds the double knockup. Yike trying to do everything he can as Caps is forced away with the exhaust. Zayas locks in the gold card. Hound Summer has to cleanse. And there goes Ona pushing forward once again. The destiny onto the back line as Yike now locked up, shut down by Baker. Hound Summer next on the menu as the dive forward continues for T1. It's beautiful. Heal the way, but this dive ain't over. Zayas oh, is God. level 12 as they charge on him. Whippo looks for the counter angle. The last punch in such an early game. He bounces, he drops, he jumps in, but Carrier does it better! The Frog runs in, the Shockwave is good from Jensen, but there's not enough damage. Masu can't get the reset from the bailout, and Carrier can't be stopped. It's another one. The guy looks like he is playing Nautilus with an R button. It's insane. It is nuts, and you can laugh at Mad Lions. But let's be real, Kobe. FlyQuest ain't far off. <laughs> you can say that again. T1 are blasting them here. Oh, in favor of T1. And T1 have just started up the Baron, but the flash kick from Jose is enough to get Faker stopwatch at least. Lope's going to join the fight. Faker falling low, but he has a command shield for himself. Guma Yushi down to half HP as well. Another charm onto Ono. The heartbreak is over the wall and ends Cody's life. Another charm from Ona, he gets the double, he's looking for more as Ackerman has to flash away the Heartbreaker short, but it's a triple for Ona. One taken away by Carrier. Ona chases forward, Heartbreakers in, dodges the Sonic Wave, lands the Spectral Maul, make it. It's just going to be an attempted turn here from the side of T1. Fingers all the way in the back line, but he does not die. Toby goes golden and Pace is actually surviving. He's doing the damage, but the Baron goes to T1. And T1 will eventually win the fight. The wallets are getting real heavy at this point in the day. As now Pace tries to turn it around, but he's alone. As owner going in, uh, they will be able to take him out. Guma does get the execute, and that Pace. should be enough. The TP is coming in, and T1 take a massive fight. He's going down fast. Yep. The uh, control one in the back of the pit is going to be taken down, but it does give Homolite Esports full information. Hook now going to come on through. Flame Jumpers go down. They do manage to secure the Baron, but can they find the fight as they split the Red Sea as in goes the Yone finds absolutely no one. Double knock up from Carrier is fantastic, and they're on top of Viper in an instant. Double kill for Faker, and this is on top of the Baron they've already taken. Homolite Esports just caught napping. And this is how now he's looking for that flank himself. Kellen taken 50% down as Faker. He's going to get himself out of there. It should be the Drake. A possibility. The secure for Ona. And they deny the soul. And now, can they actually win the fight as well as everyone's in the Thunderdome? Lucid is going to try and kick away the Azir. The Equalizer just not doing quite as much as it wants to do. And he's stuck inside the pit with nowhere to go. And DK, they're now going to get flanked by Faker. He finds two with the Empress Divide. And that is going to be that. That will be the 3-0 as welcome back, T1. They will go to the lower bracket final in Jumshill next weekend. DK, they had an incredible series against Gen G, but it seems like tonight that magic remains only in place when they face that team. T1. The owner is just going to be able to utilize the rail to lock this one down. It is going to be secured, but can they win the team fight? Hook going to connect. On to Peanut as Faker delivers a package to the back line. Viper shields himself up though, has to flash over the package to avoid the damage. Hook is going to be there under Peanut though, and he should go down. Empress Divide lands on almost everyone, and there goes the Jinx, but Viper falls immediately afterwards, and now the damage is just Zeka. Zayas zones in on it, and that will be.
be the lockdown of the Emperor. And there is the damage gone. No one else able to offer anything back. And Delight, yeah, he's tanky. He will last a little bit longer, but he will still be going down. And T1 wiped the fight. It's kind of ludicrous, but now Sponge is making his way forward. Tidal Wave is going to get a lot of value as the Feather Storm comes out. And now the Magnus Storm is going to catch Teddy, and he is just obliterated. Gumiushi, so much damage as he's dashing after the Renekton as well. They kept the Baron leashed, and they're going to look for that one now as T1. The foot is never coming off the gas this game. Maybe looking for a seal of some sort. It's just going to come down to a 50-50, but that's a Lee City kicks him away. And it goes to Forrest! Goomba! Goomba is going to get it! As you know, Forrest does have a smite of his own. It's his Q button. And he will take it down in the chaos. T1 get it. And they're just waiting for the smolder. There's like negative Wait. damage going Wait. into him, though. Jiu kept alive by the Melio. Meanwhile, Zay is trying to end the game. Which this Elder's is... better, Valdez? I think I know. Oh, He's going to TP you... back. Okay. And the game is not over. It's not over. Are you bar assaulting the Aatrox instead of the Zinzao, looking like a good <laughs> angle for Honor Life Esports. Yeah. Helps that uh, he got caught out. And now, uh, Doran is taking a bunch of damage, actually. Look at the poke coming out. As now, Charm comes out. But Doran immediately dies. And Peanut's super low as well. The damage from the side of T1 is just huge. And that will be Mountain Soul to T1. Yeah, which is very important. World Ender taken out here. Showmaker's taking more damage. Jesus, that R is pretty huge. It's now owner desperate to try to save him. It's not going to work out. And now a bit out of position. Showmaker, though, is solo as well. Owner does take him out here. Because the damage coming out on the poke from Faker. And Goomba's huge. The Mega Nar, it's desperate. It's not good enough. And the health bars just melt on the side of DK as everybody's going to be cleaned up here on the back side of this fight. Aiming does do quite a nice amount at the end, but it's too little and it's too late. T1 with that team fight win will push for the 2-0. Oh. Or you're going to have to deal with me. As, yep, there he goes. We also got the wall coming in here as the teams are going to be flashes. Faker's just in there. I mean, they've already done so much poke damage just now. Zeus gets over the wall with the blast cone, and that is a nice flash forward with the knockup as, yep, there you go. The monkey in the audience also really enjoying this one as T1 basically just cleaned them up for free. Being started, T1 moving over towards his control ward, so they know that this flank exists. There's the Weaver's wall, Zayas. He's on the wrong side of it for now. The tidal wave does come on in as he's looking for the cues, and now he dives in on top of them. The Civa does take down Gorn to start this fight off, but I have a feeling that's the end of the good news. There goes Envy. It's a double for Zayas. Make it a triple, as T1 will just wipe the floor with Bro. They'll take themselves an Elder, and this may just be the end of the game. For the seventh time, though, well, as well. This inhibitor is just not defendable. TPing in, actually, as I say it, though, let's see what they can get with this. I don't yeah. know about this. Again, this is kind of the broken up version of the combo. Faker just going to flash the wall. Guma still running away. This is what we were talking about. You can't, can't get him. on top of him. And he's just jumping away from the jumper himself. It's the Zac can't get on top of the Kalista and Guma will just laugh in their face and take them all down. Faker's going to steal the kill, because why not? He needs some POG points. Don't think he's going to get them in this game, though, as Executor's just dead as well. Zeus, he's trying to around. Barrel is very much behind enemy lines. They don't know. They do not no. know about this, but now they're going all in onto Owner. Gets knocked over the wall, but Zolt back over. Still goes down, though. Very nice snipe here from Death. But BDD is in an awful spot in the front line and was in a lot of trouble. Perfect in the mini NAR as a three-man knockout comes in from Caria as he knocks Death straight into the danger zone. At the same time, Caria really shoring up the end point of that fight. And now KT is just on the run. Away from this tiny little dragon. And it's getting very fed. Already 163 stacks now as Carrie is looking for a bit more. Not going to hit. Oh, no, now does have flash, or at least uh, one charge now missing. As all right, in goes Carrie. He finds the backline, the shockwave to take down Quoza. And they're going to utilize Ona to try and get on top of Henna. He's going to get feared and taken out. And the damage dealers are just dead in the blink of an eye. That's how this composition is supposed to work. And T1, they give up on the Drake. It's time for Baron. They don't even care about getting an individual Mountain Drake. 
Run straight into the brush. Oh my goodness. They get the ward down. The world ender comes in and now the feather storm is there for aiming. That'll keep him safe for now. His owner is getting so, so low and Lucid dives on top of the Aatrox, but it's not going to be enough to stop him ripping them to shreds. They get the knockup, but is it going to be enough? The answer is no. He is just too big. And Ona able to jump in on top. It's a double kill for Faker as well. And somehow, it's Ooh, oh, he might, he might be in, uh, he might be in the pit. Yeah, he's behind, trying to get on top of this forest, but he gets away. Samper's totally fine. And Ona is not really able to do much. He does stay alive for an incredibly long amount of time, but. Now Zay is in a bit of trouble trying to get the burst here on the Samford, and yes he will! As the Zac, as I mentioned, he's pretty unkillable. They don't even have any mountain drakes at this point. He's got Quetta there in his back pocket. He's usually able to offer a lot back, so... Without Smite, they do have Teleport. T1 is still wanting to fight for this one. That's a flash over the Tidal Wave. Shockwave comes through though, and that's a great double bubble. Zayus able to take down Saitap here as the Dragon is still amongst it. It's a double kill for Zayus, who is just a wrecking ball. And they were a man down, but T1 is still making it work. Make that a triple. No, come on, no, 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 no. No! <laughs> come on! Well, that was uh, pretty elementary from owner. Just over the wall, just doesn't even cast anything, just smites it. As now, Zeus, okay, that shockwave was massive, and now Zeus finds the angle, picks up two, and he's looking for a third. Doran will be gifted over to Guma, as now Karia just following Delight around the map. Look at the base! <laughs> the minions got mid at him! Look at guys, look at these guys. He's having fun. Oh, man. Oh, Karia had to do him dirty. At least bought them a little bit of space here as... All right, Yoshik just going to go in. There's the Crescent Guard to try and deliver Ona into that, I guess, amount of damage. But the Shockwave is so big from Faker! And yeah, Moonlight Vigil lands, but the damage is well and truly done. Perfect trying to do what he can, but he's wondering where the heck his teammates went. They are in the Death Chamber. And sometimes Faker just finds it. Oh goodness, the lights are doing so much work. There's the package delivered to Taeyun, who misses the Chains of Corruption, and Faker will keep himself alive. It's a double kill here for Gumi Yushi as now Quanok Freaks going down so low. Make that one a triple! As Faker looking for these rockets, Gumi Yushi desperately wanting a quadra kill. He's not going to get it, but they'll grab... The oh! He almost gets okay. it. Ulti gonna get him out of there as uh, Teleport's coming in. Teleport's from everywhere, actually, as Faker's going to flash. Ult comes through from Bulldog there, as well as the flash forward from Dudu. Pulled back by the Infernal Chains. 900 gold goes to Kaz. Azaeus is dashing forward. Not sure about that one. Not dead for a little while. Actually manages to take down two. Never you mind. He is a monster. It's a triple kill. Got a big old zoom out as there's the Cataclysm from Ona. Gets a huge amount of knockups. It's Keen now in a different spot. It's there's the three man pop blossom as Faker comes in. He gets exhausted, but it's still enough to get the kill under the hands. The whole bottom lane's taken down. Snip, snip, snip goes Zayus. And there's the flag drag flash from Ona to secure Chovy for Red White. Decent amount of ammo will be, have enough for any potential fights that do come up and secure it by Canyon. Pop Blossom finds three from Faker, and there's the flag and drag as well. The option is Pays. They're looking for him, and they will be able to get their prize here as now Gen G just running for the hills. Canyon, he should be able to walk his way out because Zayas has other things on his mind. Chovy has to fly. Gen G gonna try to make and force the flip. Can they force T1 to flip? It's really the question. T1. Not necessarily in position. Uh -oh. Here comes the Zack though, looking for that back line. Flashes away, and now Toby provides the front line. T1 are kind of broken up here. It's not a perfect fight, are the? Well, it's heavy enough as the question. Elder! It's definitely Elder! Down, and it goes the way of owner. It goes the way of T1. And that should be enough to execute Gen G out of this game, number three. Yeah, that. Owner that takes the soul for T1. It's gigantic now because they're the ones with the shield. They're the ones with the control. Oh, and the hook is going to find this area. She is able to press that cleanse flash button, try and get himself out of there. But it's Delight that falls to flank angle from Sayus to Flax. The tumble and the vein is going to find the fight. He goes invisible and snipes out the Zeri, and this man maybe should just become the 80 carry. So nice. Yeah. Weaver's well ready for Faker. Yep. Faker gonna get that one in there yeah. as Delight off to the side. Not necessarily in the best position here as they dive over. It's actually Kamiyushi again! Taking the Baron with the arrow! We've seen that one before. It's now Pressing Guard. Ona diving on in, and 
Delight just takes down Peanut, matters into his own hands, and now Delight tries to go for the re-engage, but who's tankier? It is Carrier this time, and now Zayas, this is where he thrives. Viper just taking thirds of his health at a time, although dishing back a fair bit himself. So oh. Oh. Ona is likely to be able to get in there though. That is going to be the secure from Peanut. And there is the Black Magnus Storm. Delight getting in there. Viper is halted as well, but the first kill is going to go over to T1. Delight now in trouble, and he is going to be taken out. And now Zayas, he is an 80 carry as well, and he is looking gigantic in this one. That is going to be him hunting down Viper. He is going to be able to help take down Peanut as well. The hook from Carrier is just too good. And T1 are going to strike again. He, he avoids the Glacial Prison. One Q. Oh, oh He's dead. They did it. They killed the Smolder. That's game. That's the game. All they had to do was kill T1. And they did it. GG. I guess T1 will take this one as they use their third to win game number two. He does need to run all the way around if he wants to get in here. Gideon on top of Gumiyushi right now, but the snare does come through. Carrier gets over the wall. The dragon gets mad. And Carrier almost in execute range. Oh, the seismic shove on oh, the he double. Is so good, and he just eats the dragon. And now he's not going to die. It's a triple kill for this guy's Tom Kench, and then he gets...